So today we're going to go on to um, your biology and we're in section 6.2 to everything a purpose and it starts right here talking about tissues. So what's a, a tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to accomplish the task of an organ. So a tissues make up organs. So there's actually four different kinds of tissues and let's Here's a picture of uh, one of the types of tissue. This is actually uh, epithelial and connective tissue that makes up um, your uh, skin type tissue. There we go, and there's a picture of it there. Well, there's four different types. This will go through the epithelial tissue are in all body parts and it protects and regulates temperature and regulates the exit um, and the regular exits and enters and entrances of the organ. And also it secretes lubricants sometimes, the epithelial tension has lubricants. And um, some have even hair-like cilia on the epithelial um, tissue. That's like the outside tissue, right? And so then we have another is connective tissue. What does connective tissue do? Connects. It connects the body parts like tendons and ligaments and also connective tissue is in blood cells and lymph cells. Um, it's a liquid connective tissue. And it also is in fat cells. And fat si cells, it protects the organs from injury. So that's the connective. And then the third type is the muscular. The muscle moves the body in its parts. And then we have the nerve. Controls the organ and co co uh, coordinates its function. So we have, what are the four types of tissue? Epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve. So you need to know those four. And each organ has a variety, maybe a couple of them, maybe more. So that's what has to do, that, that's what we're talking about when we talk about tissues, so those four different kinds of tissues. Here on, here's a table. You have muscles, what do they do? Move, and they're de design, uh, designed to contract. Nerve, control the body, uh, activities and they're long and thin. We have the epithelial, outer layers of the skin lining the alimentary canal and blood vessels, the epithelial, the skin. Epithelial meaning like the outside. Cover, protect, secrete, regulate, and regu or regulate temperature. That's what they do. And uh, fit tightly together and uh, reproduce rapidly. And so, you know, when your skin actually reproduces it rapidly. Connective tissue, bones, tendons, ligaments, ligaments, cartilage, fat, blood, and lymph. Those are connective tissue. Hold the body parts together and store energy and uh, varies according to the function. Fat cells have large vacuoles of fat storage. So that's your table on page what, 88. So let's go on here. Some important human organs once thought to be vesicle. Well, let's, we'll get to get into that in a little bit. Before that, let's talk about some tissue fluids. So we have, um, we have the, the tissues and then we have uh, what's called our tissue fluid. One of the most important types of tissue fluid, let me get organized here a little bit here, is our interstitial. Right there's the word, interstitial fluid. Tissue fluid, interstitial fluid. What is this interstitial fluid? Um, it is the between the tissues. Inter means inter, in between. The interstitial fluid that enters the lymph system is called lymph, but this, this fluid is in between. This interstitial fluid is in between the tissues. And a lot of part of the tissue fluid, is a big percentage of our body is water, of course, you know? And so we have this fluid that's between the tissues, kind of um, used as, um, you know, to as a protection, really. So we don't, and, and because we won't have to dry out. And then we have membranes. So what are the membranes? There's four different kinds of membranes we need to know. So let's look at the membranes here. Here's the four different kinds of membranes we need to know. So the first type of mem membrane is um, the serous membrane, and it's mostly epithelial cells, and um, it's enclosed and enclosed the body cavities. So inside the body cavities, we have this serous membrane inside of us that um, uh, uh, protects protects our body cavities. And then we have the mucous membranes, and these are outside. Just remember that serous means inside our body, and mucus means outside our body. So mucous membranes are outside our body. 
and they're in our throat and our mouth and our nose that produce this mucus that comes outside of our body. So we, the mucus membranes are on the outside and the serous membranes are on the inside. And then we have cutaneous. What's cutaneous mean? The word cutaneous means skin, right? So we have several types of cutaneous, um, you know, tissue on the outside, cutaneous meaning our skin tissue. Synovial is that synovial joint. It's in the joints of the connective tissue, especially in your knees, because your knees are moving and rubbing against each other. They need, they need membranes in there that, that produce this fluid so that they don't wear out, right? So we have serose, um, that's inside the body, membranes inside the body, mucus, membranes outside the body that brings this mucus outside, cutaneous, skin membranes, and then we have synovial, which are in our joints. Okay, you need to know that, pretty important. So going on to this last section I thought was very interesting, because I never heard of a vesticle, vesticle organ, have you? So a vesticle organ means that organ has no purpose at all. Well, they used to think that a lot of organs in our body had no purpose at all. Like we had, in fact, they said they have at least 180 um, different organs that they said back in time had no purpose. Guess what? Now we're finding out they all have purpose. Isn't the way God is? God brings um, purpose to, to every part of us. So now vesicle organs are not so vesicle at all. So they thought um, organs like these, like the appendix. They thought, oh, we don't need our appendix, but now we know what. They contain, contain our lymph tissue and probably help to protect us against infection. The thyroid gland, they used to think, well, what is a thyroid gland? But now we know it produced hormones uh, for growth and development of our body. And we have parathyroid. They used to think parathyroid, but now we know they parathyroid produce calcium and magnesium and phosphate. They regulate them, not produce them, but they regulate the calcium, magnesium, phosphate that we bring into our bodies, ions. The pituitary gland is this master gland uh, of the body that regulates growth uh, in other body functions. The pineal gland produces a hormone, melatonin, which regulates how we sleep. Melatonin gives us sleep. The coccyx, the tailbone. Well, now we know that tailbone actually is pretty important so that we can stand upright. They used to think, what do we need a tailbone for? Well, we need them, although we could, otherwise we couldn't stand. And our tonsils help promote good health um, by destroying harmful bacteria. Yes, those tonsils are important, but sometimes we have to have them removed, huh? Our third molar, our wisdom tooth, um, actually provides a surface to grind tiny bits and actually used as used in certain certain people can keep their wisdom teeth. Cuspid um, uh, tears large pieces of food into smaller pieces. Yes, those are important. And now we, even the yolk sac of the embryo is important. So we think of the yolk sac of the embryo, but it provides the nutrients and blood cells that they later form the very parts of the embryo developing into a, a person and do a the different the different parts of our systems in our body and then the thymus gland it used to be we nobody thought the thymus gland was important but now we know it produces these T cells white cells that help fight bacteria and they're actually trained cells to fight bacteria so yes indeed we're fearfully wonderfully made let's go on to the next part and you can read this on the cells. Of course, the cells are so important. And look at this, how God has given us all these different cells. Look at this cell. Here's an egg cell, how big it is, and a sperm cell. Here's cartilage cells. Here's a nerve cell, remember that? The nerve, the axum, and the dendrites here, this nerve cell, how amazing. Down to our fat cells piled to protect the certain areas of our body our bone cells. Look at our red blood cells and how, how they look and how they uh, are reproduced into these and how they carry hemoglobin, which attracts oxygen. Muscle cells, the different kinds of muscle cells. Skin cells, how important. All these different kinds of cells God put together uh, into our, our uh, body perfect, perfectly, although you know, some of them get out of whack sometimes, don't they? Why do, why does some of our body, why, why did God let our body go? Why do we get old? And 
basically, when you look in the Bible, we see why that happened. Um, you know, we get old, things like our nerve cells die. We only have, we don't produce new, two new nerve cells, do we? So when our nerve cells die, then pretty soon uh, we become less mentally aware, don't we? So that's why not to take drugs, because if you destroy your, your um, nerve cells, you can't reproduce them, you know? So, but other nerve cells can take over sometimes. But, and our blood vessels can have deposits of, of um, plaque in them and causes us, cause our heart, you know, to wear out in time. Everything wears out. You can imagine that. But the reason that is, is the Bible talks about it. It says, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. Why? Because of sin. The wages of sin is death. But we will we will again through Jesus Christ because we reunited to Jesus. He gives us a new body in heaven um, because of his love as we accept him as our, his savior. So God had a remedy for all of our aging and wear and tear on our body. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed the east of the garden of the east of the cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. So God loved us so much because he didn't want to leave us in our sinful state forever. So so basically he made that plan that we because of our sin we were separated from God. And we were separated to that point of, of, of dying, of death, death and destruction and um, disease. And all these came from sin. But that's why God made the plan, the gospel plan, to reunite, him to, to, to reunite us to him and to give us a new body. Isn't that amazing? Let's go on to this last part. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that may be fashioned into unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby is able even to subdue all things to himself. Yes, we become a child of God indeed, and God will give us a new body. So going on to the section review here quick, let's go through these very quickly let me move it up so you can see the whole thing right there there okay um, explain the purpose of tissues fluids membrane cells and matrix tissues are a group of, of similar cells working together to accomplish a task of an organ right the cells go into tissues the fluids is the, the water system in our body and the membranes are these thin flexible sheets of tissue that cover and line the parts of our body little thin flexible sheets of tissue are membranes. The cells are individual um, individual living building blocks. They're those little the little cells in the body. Okay, going on to matrix. Oh, what's the matrix? Non-living material that surround the cells. Just think the matrix are non-living. It's like the fluid that holds, you know, the living cells. On to what are the four basic types of tissue? Okay, we did that, right? Here they are. Epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve. And we went over those. So what are the four types of membranes? Let's look at the membranes. Four types. Serous, mucus, cutaneous, and synovial membranes. What do the supposedly vesicle organs tell you about the wisdom of God and the wisdom of man? Well, the wisdom of man, they used to think that most of these organs in our body did nothing. They were useless. That's what man thought. But what's the wisdom of God? Every single part of our body is useful. That he had a use for everything. Isn't that amazing? The wisdom of God is so above the wisdom of man. Define interstitial fluid. That's that fluid um, between the tissues. Define a serous membrane. Is that's the inside the membranes that are inside our body. Remember, the mucous member is on the outside. And cutaneous membrane is the skin membranes, you know. And vesicle means it's an organ that, that has no use. But we have no vesicle organs like they used to think, do we? So what, because we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and every part of us has, a, has um, uh, uh, every 
found the minute cells um, work together to produce, make our body into what it is. And that's how God put it together. It's, um, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen.